Dionisio Peña survived the Great Depression, World War II, and now in the 21st century, he just enjoys watching cowboy movies and tending to the cattle on the ranch. Peña's regular routine is to get up early and feed the cattle. Then he goes to the local adult daycare to interact with others and have breakfast and lunch. Help, Before he comes help. back to do it all help. over again. What he does help. best and what he loves to do, taking care of the cattle. I like horses. I'm getting too old to handle them, but I still, I still got one horse and I help my, my friend Eddie Vela with his horses or with, with his cattle. If he's not around, I always feed him for him. This is what they call American Bramers. Um, He's, he's getting some more uh, later on. And when he's not here, when he's working on the truck, I always try to help him out, you know, I'll feed him, feed him and get plenty of water on him and stuff like that. Soon after World War II began, Benya joined the American Navy in 1943 and he headed to the waters of the South Pacific as a seaman, where he survived and fought for the American people. I was around Saipan, Tinian, Guam, Palu, Ulysses, in different parts of the South Pacific. It wasn't too good. Uh, we lost some personnel at that time, but we came out all right. Um, those kamikazes, they would come in and you didn't even know when they were coming in. But. The sailors that came out, they came out in, in good shape. It was rough. Anybody that, that likes to talk about during the war, they've never been in there. Anybody that's been in, like, like we say, hot water, you don't like to talk about it. But, uh, all I can say is that it was rough, but we came out alive, so we're, we thank, thank God for that. <laughs>